I always say that um, opposites attract. <laughs> it, we're very opposite from each other but then we kind of complement each other in a way as in he's a he can be very loud and then sometimes I'm timid because I want to reserve my energy so I let him speak and you know he is kind of the person who I guess takes on the conversation <laughs> let him have that because I'm like okay go ahead because you know <laughs> I'm an ambivert so there are moments where I have to reserve my energy so um there are times where I can be an extrovert but then I need to after that I'm kind of exhausted and then I need to just relax and calm down and I let him have that I, you know musicians they think very different it you know being with him it really s- because I love to, I love the art. Mm-hmm. I loved, um, well, I rarely do it now, but, you know, painting and drawing, it's something that I would enjoy a lot before when I had, a lot, when I had more time. Mm-hmm. And so seeing him and seeing how creative he is with his songwriting and just his mind is very, I can't describe it, but a lot of things happening in his mind. <laughs> uh, it does spark that, I guess, uh, the creative, my creative side comes out as well. And I think that was one thing that I uh, really liked about him. All, the way that he thinks, it's very different. And he doesn't think like everyone else. He just, he really thinks out of the box. Like he doesn't mm-hmm. want to fit into a mold. Mm-hmm. And he wants to live um, his life the way that he wants to and he wants to um, like he always has these ideas and he always wants to be himself and that's one thing that I learned from him is really even getting out of my comfort zone even more and really pushing myself always and not trying to fit in because that's like one thing that I wanted to do growing up is please everyone. And he's so different. He does not care about people's opinions. And I should stop as well. And I'm still working on that because it doesn't matter. It's your life. And the comments that matter are from the people that matter. And I, I have to remind myself always. And he's kind of a reminder of that because he doesn't, you know, he doesn't care what other people think. He does his thing. And that's um, one thing that I admire. Yeah, okay. Cute nyo together kasi. <laughs> I'm sure you've been asked a dozen times since after the pageant. So, will you be competing again for the crown next year? I mean, Pia Warswag did it three times before she finally snatched the crown. So, yeah. What are your plans? Well, what was funny was that before the coronation or the day of the coronation, I I told one of the girls, like, this is my first and last pageant. Uh, but I am still 23, so I might change my mind. And I will update everyone on that if I do. Because you've been, you've already won Asia's Next Top Model. So if we're going to talk about strength of spirit and being competitive, we already know that you got them. So parang, what do you think should you improve on if ever you're going to compete again next year? Personally, I I do see a lot of things that I can improve on. Like, let's say my walk a little and then maybe a little bit on my conviction when I when I speak. So it's just a little, you know, a little things that I would no want. Tweaking here and there. In here and there. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So what have you learned from your stint with Asia's Next Top Model that you brought here sa competition, Miss Universe, and that you parang... That, pr- that you've proved to be effective? Well, one thing is actually, um, I, I'm still trying to find a perfect way to say it because now thinking about it, I don't like the way that it sounds, but mm. it's the fake it till you make it. But uh, I, yet, I like to use that to kind of describe the persona that comes out when I'm on stage, when I'm on in front of the camera. It's this person that is totally me, but then it, comes out when I have to do difficult situations like these Um, and I hope that I can totally become this version of myself that I believe is the best version of myself it's the confidence that um, that I'm able to show on stage that I was able to show on stage 
And so I'm still working on that. I mean, I have improved so, so much when it comes to confidence, when I imagine or um, when I see the girl that I was when I was an Asian like submodel to the girl that I was just the on the coronation night, it was the same girl, but then the confidence level was totally different. And that I was able to confidently speak on stage is something that I am very proud of, that I was able to achieve. And so it is, I hopefully that I get to even improve, even, to improve even more on that confidence. Well, I know parang you're in lock-in, tapos wala lang anything you can share fun experience funny or embarrassing we actually all had our own room so we didn't have roommates <laughs> yeah we did have our own rooms it's to be honest i liked it because i had my personal space i don't really like being with someone who ha- who's very messy because i'm organized with my things but then at the same time we, that's why we weren't able to bond as much with the other girls um but i guess It was funny because we would talk even though we had to social distance and they would always, you know, get angry at us. Like our handlers would be like, social distance, social distance, alcohol, spray alcohol. <laughs> and kind of we would go back again and we would like talk to them. And that was that was really funny. And I'm so glad that despite us doing that, mm-hmm. um, no one was test, uh, no one tested positive afterwards. Wow. So I'm glad that we were all able to compete. You were only 12 when your mom passed away. Tapos, is there a person now who, uh, in your life, who sorts of parang acts like a, a mom to you now that you're at your age, 23? Meron ba? Well, I, uh, my mom passed away when I was 11. And I actually oh, have okay. people right now. So I have my stepmom. Mm-hmm. She was the one who took care of us when we were in Germany. So she was my our other mother figure. But then I also found... Uh, someone else, which is my manager, and she has been helping me throughout this journey. She's given me the best advice. What's her name? Chini. Okay. Chini. She's my momager, so she's like my mom, and she has been really, as in, the best in this journey because she's been giving me the best advice, mm-hmm. and she's always reminding me to focus on myself, to focus on the good things. Because there are times, of course. I have to admit that I feel like I I can't do it, yeah. that I feel like I'm just so nervous about some things and I just need that, that extra push. And she's there um, reminding me of all the things that I have to remember. And she's yeah. really, really helped me so much. I, I, I'm pretty sure that I wouldn't have gone this far in my journey if it wasn't for her. When it comes naman to dealing with cancer and eventually death, di ba? Um, parang painful experience talaga siya. So, and, and the fact that you were still too young then, um, what did that whole journey leave you? Parang, did you resent it? Did you, uh, did you have trouble coping with it? Or paano ka? How was that for you? 